Hello, church. I'm here uh, sharing with you a devotion today and an update. I try to do this each Wednesday since we can't meet together like we normally can. And so I wanted to, I wanted to uh, share with you a little bit of a devotion. Several weeks back, I shared with you about a pastor named Dietrich Bonhoeffer. He was a German pastor and uh, before the war, he began to speak out against uh, Hitler um, during the move up to the war. And uh, of course, uh, the, he was warned and he wouldn't be quiet because he saw what they were doing was evil, in fact. So they came and arrested him in the middle of the night and took him off to uh, camps, some work camps, and then finally a concentration camp. Well, right before this, I think he kind of knew what was going to happen uh, because in 39, he wrote a uh, book called Life Together. And in this book, he talked about how he cherished worship and coming together and the fellowshipping of the people of Christ. And so he, he even said how horrible it is for the scattered lonely because they didn't have a place. They didn't have people uh, to be able to meet. And um, it was almost foreshadowing what would happen in the concentration camps, even there amidst all the cruelty and the pain and suffering, he would gather together people that were like-minded, that were other believers. Sometimes even Jewish believers would come together and uh, he would have kind of a worship service. And uh, he cherished that time. As most of you know, he was uh, uh, taken the day before the Allies got to the concentration camp. It was ordered that he would be taken out and hung um, because they didn't want him speaking up. But imagine now, we can't meet in this church anymore, for a while anyway, but we want to come together. This week, in fact, we're going to um, have service in the parking lot. Yeah, that's new to me too. Um, we, we wanted to do it last week, but there was just way too many moving parts. In fact, we had to order in a transmitter that would uh, put it out on FM radio. So you guys can sit in your car this uh, Sunday um, we'll have two services, 8.15 and 10.45. You all set in your car. We'll be having a praise team, and I'll be preaching um, a message that I think everyone needs to hear. And at least we'll be together, even though we will not be able to have contact with one another and that fellowship that we're used to. So anyway, come in your cars where it's nice and safe, and we'll just uh, have a time. I um, mean, I think it, should, it, it will be fun, I think. I wanted to share with you also a scripture and it comes from uh, Psalm 61. And obviously from the text of the Psalms, you can tell that David was going through a difficult time in life, kind of like we are, you know? I mean, things are uncertain. People are, we know are being laid off. Some people are very anxious and panicky about this time. Uh, but, but here's kind of what God is sharing with the writer of Psalms. And it's probably a good Psalm for us today. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I love that. Climbing up on a rock to get away from the danger. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. My friends, when things get difficult, take refuge in the power of God. Take some time to spend praying and reading scripture. Even take a walk outdoors and pray as you walk. You'll see amazing changes. So until I see you again next week, God bless.